probably the most prominent of our, of our efforts is this bronze plaque, which Jacob is going to be revealing in a moment, uh, affixed to a piece of Medina sandstone. The Medina sandstone comes from our own streets of Albion. When they redid the streets years ago, this was one of the uh, pieces of sandstone that was there. And so there's some symbolism to that as well. I love symbolism. My class knows that. So at this time, I'm going to ask Jacob to remove the sheet, and we can give a round of applause once it is revealed. Go ahead, Jacob. So with our work with, with veterans groups, historians, local authors who have researched this, cemetery personnel going through old church records where they've literally blown the dust off the book to, to find the old plots that were hand marked. Uh, I try to divide my classes up, each doing different things. We spent probably four Saturdays here painting old rusty GAR markers. Kids love climbing up and down these terraces. It was an adventure for them, and, and, but, but a lot of fun. For a 12, 13 year old, this is a great way for them to enjoy and learn history. But not just learn history, uh, but to appreciate what they have so they can take it to the generations that will follow them, their children and their, their grandchildren. So, and that's why the monument is here, it's lasting. That sugar maple tree we planted is lasting. It will be here for generations to come. That solid granite urn, it's lasting. All symbols of, of uh, what we've received from the past and what we hope to give to those that follow us. Yes, I was super excited about it all the way from the beginning. I started talking with Mr. Archer as soon as I could with what I could do and help more than I already was and it turned out even better than I thought it was going to. Probably learning about the Civil War and um, Herbert Taylor and the, getting the monuments and stuff. How did, how did it feel seeing the monument? It felt good for all the hard work we put into it and everything. We come with the humility of prayer, with the eloquence of venerable wisdom, with the tender beauty of poetry, with the plaintive harmony of music, with the honest tribute of our chief magistrate, and with all this honorable attendance. 